an interesting observation. Have you ever noticed how mothers usually hold their babies? Careful studies have disclosed the fact that 80% of mothers cradle their infants in their left arms, holding them against the left side of their bodies. One could say that it is because most people are right-handed. By holding their babies in the left arm, mothers keep their dominant arm free for their normal work. But our detailed analysis shows that this is not the case. Studies have shown that 83% of right-handed mothers hold the baby on the left side. But then, so do 78% of the left-handed mothers. In other words, only 22% of the left-handed mothers have their dominant hand, that is the left hand, free for normal work. Clearly, there must be some other reason why mothers prefer to hold their babies on the left side. The only other clue comes from the fact that the heart is on the left side of the mother's body. Could it be that the sound of her heartbeat is the vital factor? Perhaps during its existence inside the body of the mother, the growing embryo becomes fixated on the sound of the heartbeat. If this is so, then the rediscovery of this familiar sound after birth might have a calming effect on the infant, especially as it has just been thrust into a strange and frighteningly new world outside. The mother too soon discovers unconsciously that her baby is more at peace if held on the left against her heart than on the right. This may sound far-fetched, but tests have now revealed that it is nevertheless the true explanation. Groups of newborn babies in a hospital nursery were exposed for a considerable time to the recorded sound of heartbeat. The sound was at the standard rate of 72 beats per minute. There were nine babies in each group and it was found that most of them were crying for 60% of the time when the sound was not switched on. But this figure fell to only 38% when the heartbeat recording was being played. The heartbeat groups also showed a greater weight gain than the others, although the amount of food taken was the same in both cases. Clearly, the beatless groups were burning up a lot more energy as a result of their vigorous crying. Another test was done with slightly older infants at bedtime. In some groups, the room was silent. In others, recorded lullabies were played. In others, a ticking sound was operating at the heartbeat rate of 72 beats per minute. In still others, the heartbeat recording itself was played. It was then checked to see which groups fell asleep more quickly. The heartbeat group dropped off in half the time it took for any of the other groups. This shows clearly why mothers prefer to hold the child on the left side. It is interesting that when 466 Madonna and child paintings dating back over several hundred years were analyzed for this feature, 373 of them showed the baby on the left breast. Here again, the figure was at the 80% level. This contrasts with observations of females carrying parcels and other things, where it was found that 50% carried them on the left and 50% on the right. This heartbeat fixation also explains why we insist on locating feelings of love in the heart rather than the head. It also explains why mothers rock their babies to lull them to sleep. The rocking motion is carried on at about the same speed as the heartbeat. And once again, it probably reminds the infants of the rhythmic sensations they had become so familiar with inside the womb, as the great heart of the mother pumped and thumped above them. Nor does it stop there. This phenomenon seems to stay with us right into our adult life. We rock with anguish. We rock back and forth on our feet when we are in a state of conflict. The next time when you see a new teacher in your class or a speaker sway rhythmically from side to side, check his speed for heartbeat time. His discomfort at having to face an unfriendly audience leads him to perform the most comforting movements his body can offer. He switches over to the old familiar beat of the womb. Whenever you find insecurity, you are liable to find the comforting heartbeat rhythm in one kind of disguise or another. 
It is no accident that most folk music and dancing has a rhythm of the heartbeat. Here again, the sound and movements take the performers back to the safe world of the womb. <laughs> 